I have to get a BMW or all day. Ten years ago, the least talked about album of its time was released. Protest songs of the 80s. Nintendo has sucked out my brain. No. Riley and Nelson are back with a new CD, cleverly titled Protest Songs of the 90s, with songs that touch the most important issues of our time. Yes, and let's download porn from the internet. Yes, I believe that would be the best use of the technology. Please don't let them clone Polly Shore. <laughs> Songs about social issues. I am sorry, but your child doesn't have attention. <laughs> Deficit disorder. No, no. He's just stupid. What's the deal with the weekly personal ads and people begging for dates? If they're so intelligent, and if they're so beautiful, then why can't they get laid? And songs about the personalities One, who have two, shaped this decade. One, two, three, four. Dork must die. Dork must die. Dork must die. Little what? Dork must die. Who's buying those videos? I didn't think I would ever say this, but I am really getting tired of Demi Moore's naked ass, naked ass, naked ass, naked ass, naked ass. Including their number one hit, The Ballad of Martha Stewart. Uptight, lily white, scary lady, bacon pies, cut and roses, Tom Poston, snooty little potty host, sponge painting bedroom walls, rich bitch in overalls, Martha. Martha Stewart. Protest songs of the 90s. Not available in Walmart stores because of that song about Demi Moore's ass. Yes, Nintendo is still sucking out my brain. Yes, Nintendo is still sucking out my brain. Yes, Nintendo. Hey, we've got a great show for you, so don't go away, because we'll be right back.